everyone welcome back to my channel this is me aditi and in today's video i'm going to create this beautiful makeup look right here so if you guys want to know that how i created this look and what are the products that i use to create this look then please continue watching and before you go please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and also share this video with your family and friends and yeah with that let's get started all right so let's begin with some skin prep i have just washed my face and my face is completely uh, dry now so before putting on makeup i make sure that i apply you know moisturizer or something which you know uh, gives my skin that hydration and moisturization which is required so firstly i'm taking this l'oreal paris essence I bought this product recently you can see i have used this like very little amount of this it's been a week or so and i have included this in my skincare like i use this daily so i'm actually quite liking this and that's why i am using this today as well so you just need few drops of this like th this is like literally water like consistency so you just need like three four drops of this and then i'll just you know pat that on my skin and this gives really like fresh and nice glow to your skin and my feel my skin feels so much you know hydrated and you know this feels so good so you can see i'm just patting this all over my face and you know just uh, pushing that into my skin So once that is completely absorbed into my skin, I'm gonna moisturize my skin. Okay, to moisturize my face, I'm using this Pons moisturizer. This is a non-oily, non-greasy uh, moisturizer, and that's why I absolutely love, love using this underneath my makeup. So just massage that and always go in this direction you know just go in upward direction don't go like this just go up and that's how your moisturizer gets absorbed very very quickly so skin prep is done now i'm using this nika prep me up face primer and this is a silicone based primer so really really good to you know fill in your pores i absolutely love this one so i firstly you know uh, place this around my nose and my chin and my cheek area like this area where i have like really big pores which if i don't use something like this which really shows you know if i put makeup that doesn't look nice so i need to use something which is pore filling and once this is like completely got into your skin whatever is left i just massage that on my face all right so for foundation i'm taking this makeup revolution uh foundation stick so this is how the packaging of this looks like so i bought this one recently and i have used this only once uh, i applied this yesterday i went out and i was like really skeptical whether this works for me whether this will work for me or not because i am a dry skin person and i feel you know that stick products can be a bit drying for me so i thought let's try if this works or not so i tried this one yesterday and this foundation stick you guys is really really good i wasn't expecting this to be like super dewy uh, you know i am always looking for some amazing base products because for me my base and you know makeup is the most important part if your base is ruined you know whatever you do with your eye like the most beautiful you know eye look smoky eyes red lips anything you do if your base is ruined you know it is like now a mess you can't help it so i always try to find something which works for my skin and i have a dry skin so i really don't feel like you know layering so many products i always try to find which is not so met and which doesn't really you know makes my skin even more dry so i tried this one and i absolutely love this one this is in the shade f8 by the way so 
this is actually like quite a perfect match for me and i absolutely love this one so this much of the product you get and really really beautiful products you know it literally glides on your skin so so beautifully let me show you the application and you'll be able to see that how this works so i'm just gonna apply that directly on my skin and you can see how easily this is you know getting applied really really beautiful i'm just gonna you know make some swatches all around my face this works really really nicely with a beauty blender as well i thought it is a you know stick product maybe it will not really work with a beauty blender but this really uh, you know gets blended really really easily Then I'm taking this LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Pure Beige. So this concealer has a peachy undertone which really really helps to you know cancel out darkness and that's why I love using this. Now to brighten up my face, I'm using this Wet n Wild concealer and this is again a recent buy and I'm gonna use this to brighten up my face, the usual areas that I always, always brighten up. So you can see that I'm just bouncing the beauty blender and not at all dragging it. So that's how you want to you know, blend the concealer, don't drag it, just bounce it. Now to brightening up my under eyes and you know set my concealer, I'm using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow uh, Contour and Highlight Palette and I'm gonna use this shade right here under my eyes. So this is a really beautiful banana shade and I'm just gonna use this under my eyes, not all over my face, just under my eyes but before that I'm just you know making sure that there is no crease line whatsoever. Just look up and don't look down at all just look up and then just take the powder and you can see right and i'll just set that right there don't look down because the moment you look down you'll get creases there and then if you set it with the powder it is going to stay like that only right so just look up and again i'm taking the powder and just cleaning all the creases if there is any and using the powder to set it this is like a really beautiful shade you can see how quickly this has brightened up my inner eyes now to set the rest of my face i'm using this like me 9 to 5 compact powder and this is in the shade melon matte never never you know forget to powder your nose because that is the area which gets oily like very very quickly so just powder your nose a little bit more than the rest of your face so 
now to get that warmth and that you know dimension back in my face i'm gonna use this palette again and this time i'm gonna use this contouring shade right here we'll just start applying this just above the hollow of my cheeks this is the hollow of your cheeks right you can see that here this is the hollow part so you want to apply your bronzer or contour right above that don't go over this just go above and then blend that in a circular motion in upward direction So now it's time for blush and for that I'm using one of my favorite blush uh, ever. This is the Milani Baked Blush. I'm using this Miss Claire Eye Pop Pencil and this is in the shade Dark Brown. Alright, so now for my eyes, I'm using this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. I'm taking this chocolatey dark brown shade on a blending brush and firstly I'm just stamping that on the outer corner of my eyes and then I'll start blending that in circular motion and then whatever is left on my brush, I'm taking that towards my crease. So I'm gonna build this shade, you know, till I'm happy with the pigment. So you should just go, you know, very lightly just take very little amount of the shade and then you can build it up don't go directly like with a lot of product because then it will be really tough to blend that in so i'm taking that shade towards my crease and taking that to the innermost corner of my eye you can see and i'm just building it up and then i'm taking that black shade from the palette on a really flat brush and i'm again doing the same thing just stamping that on the outer corner of my eye uh, you don't need to be like really precise but you want to make sure that you don't go above the crease just stamp that right there and once the pigment is deposited right there i'll start blending that using a smaller blending brush so you want to take a smaller brush because if you go with a big blending brush it will be like you know uh, it can be a mess because you know with a smaller brush you get more uh, you know proper application so just go with a smaller brush and, and then just blending that in right there i don't you know want this shade go above my crease so i am lightly blending it up and then slowly i'm taking that on my crease very you know lightly don't want this shade to be like super harsh so go really slow and give enough time to blending because blending is really important when it comes to you know eyeshadow if there is really harsh line on your eye it is not a pleasant look so just give enough time to blending then i'm taking this shimmery uh, shade this is a really beautiful silver uh, you know champagne shade and i'm using my finger to apply this i always use my finger to apply any shimmer shades i feel the application and the pigment uh, you know gets better when i use my finger than to use a brush so i'm just applying that towards the inner corner and i'm applying this halfway through my lid i'm not taking that all over my lid just halfway and then once it's 
is done and i'm taking that dark brown shade again and i'm applying that towards the you know uh, lower lash line then i'm gonna uh, you know tight line my waterline using a kajal i'm using this k beauty kajal but you can use whatever kajal that you have and you know you are comfortable with i really like this kajal so i'm using this one now to give this eye look a bit more sharpness and you know a more cleaned look i'm using this concealer to clean all the edges and then i'm gonna blend that up using the beauty blender now i'm taking this maybelline colossal eyeliner and i'm just gonna line my uh, you know i using this i'm not really doing a really big wing or something i'm just you know normally lining my uh, lash line to give it more you know that depth and dimension so before applying mascara i'm quickly gonna curl my lashes because curling your lashes makes a huge difference and then i'm taking this maybelline colossal mascara and i'm gonna apply lots and lots of this on my lashes this is a waterproof mascara so this stays on for a very long period of time and this does gives you a you know a length and volume which is really really beautiful if you're not applying any falsies this mascara itself is really enough for a beautiful looking lashes Then for lips, I'm taking this Rimmel London liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Love Bite. So I'm quickly gonna apply that on my lips, all over my lips. This is a really, really beautiful uh, uh, shade and a really beautiful formula. This is, you know, not like uh, one of those liquid lipstick formula which really, you know, gets dried on your lips. This is really comfortable and the shade is absolutely something which I always, always love to wear. So guys, this is the finished look and I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys and you enjoyed watching this one. Uh, so if you enjoyed watching this video, then please give this a big thumbs up and also share this video with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that means a lot to me. So please, please subscribe before you go. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, bye-bye.